All right, what's up guys? So, it does some work on the farm. Kind of covered a bunch of crap, but I wanted to go over grip and grip technique and just what absolutely helped me because for a while I thought I was kind of doing the right thing and I wasn't. And a lot of times I was pulling some shots and uh, most time it really didn't affect it, but in my head it started affecting it. So coming down and what you generally want to do with any grip is you want to tell the ground to stop. So you want your hand at a 45 degree angle and you want, what I would do, what I do now, is I will tell the ground to stop and I will put, go in and do top and then roll my hand down. Now you see the lifeline, everybody talks about the lifeline on their hand, so you see that lifeline and you put that grip right in through here on that lifeline. Now, what I ended up doing in a way that I shot for a long time and I was consistent, and like I said, it what what happened never really mattered, but over time it would just play back in my head. So what I would do now is I would tell the ground to stop and I will come in top and I'd roll down into that lifeline, which is the correct way to do it. But then I would rest my fingers on the end of my riser and just rest them just like that. Well, that worked out great. But when I started getting into pressure scenarios, what I ended up doing was I would start, instead of pushing into my bow, I would start tightening up my fingers. And whenever I tightened up my fingers, it created a hard ball right in there. And it would allow, it really wouldn't allow the bow to shift side to side because I had grip in the front, so I could control the riser and could control where the bow was going, but at some point I had too much control of where the bow was going. And whenever I would break, I would pull shots. Now, it wouldn't be off a lot. It'd be off maybe about an inch or two, but that was an inch or two in tournaments that I couldn't sacrifice. So, in my head, what I would end up doing is when I would tighten that fingers up, Another thing, when I tighten them fingers up in my head, I know I'm doing it. And then it would take my execution of my shot longer because in my head I'm like loosen that grip, loosen that grip, loosen that grip. When I finally loosen the grip, then I broke the shot. Well, about that time I got tired and I started hitting low. So, what helped me out the most in my grip and in my shot? We all have paper towels and what helped me out is I would take that paper towel and I would fold it up, just like I'm folding it up here, and I would lay it in front of that grip. So I'd still come in till the ground stop, 45 degree angle, but instead of resting my fingers on the grip like this, I will come in and add that paper towel, and it made it to where my I would overlap my hand on my grip. I would overlap it, and then I would do what I would call melt that butter. So when I melted the butter, what that meant is I would just completely relax my hand and it would just sink my palm into that grip and it just made it rock solid. So I had, I still had control of the bow. So I still got control of the bow. I still got a good flat surface for that grip to rest on. But with my hands overlapping, I'm not torquing it. My, my hand was completely relaxed and I could feel that I overlapped it like I wanted it when my index finger and my thumb just about touched. I might feel them just kind of tickle a little bit, but I would just keep that hand relaxed. So we'll shoot a couple shots with this. You can also use bowstring wax. You can use, if you've got a bigger tube of bowstring wax, you can put that bowstring wax in your hand, put it up against the, the riser, and that'll give you just enough clearance so you know what that feels like. So we'll take a couple shots uh, with each three grip and just kind of, just so y'all can get kind of a general uh, look on what all they look like being shot. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is a high risk. So when I first started shooting bows, this is exactly what I started doing first. So I'd come in and I'd get a really high wrist, just like that. And I'd shoot. So the bow would leave my hand like it was supposed to. Everything felt, 
felt fairly decent, but over time, like I said, you'll start sinking down. Okay, so the second one, we're gonna touch just the front of the riser. We're gonna do the proper grip, tell the ground to stop. And this works, I mean, it works. It just, for me personally, it got to my head in pressure situations, like I said, that I'd be touching that riser and I would just tighten my grip up. But for a lot of people, touching the front of the riser works. If it works for you, good. If it don't, that's what this is for. So I'll go in and I'll touch the front of the riser. So I'm gonna do this next shot with paper towel. And a great thing about this paper towel is, is whenever you shoot, you know you're tightening your fingers up because that paper towel's got give. So whenever you tighten your fingers up, you'll feel that paper towel squish and you know to let off of it. But what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll tell the ground to stop. I'll get a full grip around it. bow still leaves my hand like it's supposed to everything works out great but i'm not allowing any pressure on the front of that riser so i hope this helps some of you guys out work on your grip you'll be amazed at how much better your groups will be whenever you get your grip figured out and everything works out perfect and you ain't influencing that bow in any way see you guys